What's up, everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you with part two of the countdown of my top 15 sneakers of 2022. But before we continue the countdown, I need a couple things from you. I need you guys to hit that like button on the video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and the countdown thus far. And also, turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified when I come back with the continuation of the countdown. Also, sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now, we had some great sneakers that were revealed with sneakers 15 through 11. Today, we're gonna pick up where we left off and start with number 10. The number 10 sneaker is a collab. Oh, it's a collab with Jordan Brand and one of the hottest music producers in the game today. Uh, I'm talking about none other than Yes, it's the Jordan 5, DJ Khaled, we the best in the Crimson Bliss colorway. Uh, very premium, uh, very good materials on the sneaker. The leather is nice and soft. You can see underneath the Jordan Jumpman on the back of the sneaker. We got we the best. And the tongue is reflective, I'm sorry, 3M. And you know, keep going on the sneaker. Uh, there was another colorway that came out that released their tier zero stores in the uh, sale colorway, which was another popular sneaker out of the two. A lot of people like the uh, sale colorway. It's about 50 50 in my opinion, but I like this colorway the best. The other two colorways are set to release in 2023 and they're probably gonna be limited so. This is the number 10 sneaker on the countdown, the Air Jordan 5, DJ Khaled, we the best. The number 9 sneaker on the countdown is also a collab. It's on one of the most popular Jordan silhouettes. Uh, the collab was with a company based out of Pittsburgh, I believe they're originally from, repping that P. Uh, in order to purchase the shoe, they did a contest. They wanted you to go on Instagram, post a video stating what uh, are your concerns or what concerns you the most in your community, and you were to tag them and a local representative, I believe, in order to purchase the sneaker. And from everyone that I know locally in the sneaker community and here on YouTube that recorded the video and posted, they were given access to purchase the sneaker at retail. However, I thought I had more time because they only gave you 24 hours to do it. So I missed out on that part and I had to depend on the sneakers app and the sneakers app blessed me with a got em. I'm talking about the Air Jordan Retro Full Ama Manier. That was a great idea by James Whitney and the Whitney Group to uh, give your concerns is a, also another good way to get people to wake up with the issues in their community. And I'm hoping everybody learn from that experience and goes out and vote, not just for presidential elections, but for the little ones as well, because those are the ones that basically got us in some of the predicaments we're in today, because they put those amendments and those constitutions on there and if it's not a presidential election, let's be honest, we're not getting out and vote. But this was a great story behind this sneaker. The sneaker is a very good sneaker. We got some great materials on here. Uh, I really like the storyline. The materials could have been better compared to other uh, pairs. Some pairs were had a lot of factory flaws, but mine seemed like I got a really good pair, but the Air Jordan Retro 4 Ama Manair is the number nine sneaker. The number eight sneaker on the countdown is also a collab. Uh, I believe this brand is making this debut on my countdown. Uh, I don't think I've made a video previous to this year with this brand. Uh, it's a collab and it's near and dear to my heart because it deals with the military. The collab is with a brand and once I learned the story behind the sneaker, I was in the army the same time with the guy that created this collab. Uh, not sure if we crossed paths or not, but that's a discussion to be had at a later time. 
uh, the materials on the sneaker was good. The rollout was good. Veterans got first preference at buying this shoe on uh, the Friday before Memorial Day. You were to show your ID. I'm sorry, the Thursday before uh, Memorial Day. You were to show your ID and you could have buy the, all the uh, gear to go with it. Hats, socks, shirts, and also the sneakers. So, uh, without further ado, I'm talking about the Sneaker Politics A6 Gel Light 3. This is a real dope sneaker. Probably not gonna see this on people's countdown. I know a lot of people don't wear A6, but I, this was my first pair of A6. You got the split tongue, comfortable. You got the map reading uh, on here. This was for the concentration camp that Derek Curry was at when he was in the military. And he was in the U.S. Army as well, just like me. Can't wait to actually have this conversation with him because I had no idea he was in the Army before. But there he's a down-to-earth guy. I see him at some of the shake bags. So next time I see him, we're going to put him to the side and we're going to have that Army talk about this sneaker right here. The number eight sneaker, the A6 Politics Gel Light 3. The number seven sneaker on the countdown. Ooh, it is my favorite Jordan silhouette uh, and this sneaker. It's a retro, a retro for the first time since it originally came out. So we haven't seen this sneaker in its form since 1988. That's about 34 years. Uh, when it came out, it was a must that I get the sneaker. I was happy I got it. Some of the pairs had quality control issues. I'm gonna just bring it out talking about the air jordan retro 35 red with the nike air thing on the back some of the pairs were coming out i actually had a pair that i had purchased online from uh that was well i don't want to see the story name but the the letters was all in the gray cement back here and very disappointed in that but uh, i managed to get me another pair from uh, I think Uncle Billy go, yeah, because the prices on these are not bad on the resale market, so I was able to get me another pair on the Air Jordan Retro 35 Red. Come with that hang tag, gotta get the OGs, baby. Gotta have these in the collection. So when this retro, I had to get it in '88. I wasn't able to get these when they first came out, but I wouldn't have be able to fit it anyway, cause 10 years after that. I had a drastic change in my sneaker size, but that's for a later time. This is the number seven sneaker on the countdown, the Air Jordan Retro 3 Fire Red. The number six sneaker on the countdown is a very special sneaker to me personally. Uh, this sneaker is a, is a tribute to someone that means a lot to me, to people of color. Uh, the silhouette is very popular right now. Uh, I love the colors of the sneaker. I love the message behind the sneaker. Uh, and it's never, you can never do enough to repay somebody for what they went through to do what he did. This guy broke the barriers. He's the first black guy to do this on the national level. I'm talking about the Nike Don't Glow Jackie Robinsons. He's the first black guy to play in the major leagues. He he broke the barriers because they didn't want to let black people play. And he broke those barriers. He went through all kinds of hell. He was ridiculed, probably spit on and all that good stuff. Sent all kinds of death threats and called all kinds of names. But he stayed the coast and it paid off. And he paved the way for a lot of guys to play the day that came behind him, like Ken Griffey Jr. and uh, Barry Bonds and a lot of those greats that have sneakers and had a successful baseball career. But uh, the materials on here is nice. You see that nice pebble leather, nice soft and tumble. You see that in the quarter panels as well. And you can see his number right there, 42. It's also a movie name after him. And it's called 42, played by the late great Chadwick Bozeman, aka Black Panther. The 
number six sneaker on the countdown. The Jackie Robinson Nike don't glue. Yes, guys, it's getting hot in here, guys. So that was the number uh, 10 through six sneakers on the countdown. So stay tuned as the countdown continues on tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have a day in between where I do my uh, honorable mentions and a surprise video. It gonna be combined. And then the following day, we are gonna hit y'all with that top five sneakers in my collection of 2022. So until then, I'm just gonna give you my reminder like I always do. If you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.